All right, guys, I'm going to start the video here. We're back at the mouth of that lake we left on the last video. If y'all hadn't seen it, maybe I would want to see what I did. I left. I got this far and I turned around. I didn't touch them. This is the next day. And I'm seeing fish with backs out of the water. Oh, wow. They're still here. They're still here, guys. Wow, that's amazing. So let's go see if we can get us a limit without stirring up the whole thing. I mean, I'm seeing them way up there. But I'm seeing some right here. Right here. There's, there's one right there. There's a big one over here. to the right. Look at that big monster. Oh yeah, that, that should do it. Oh, it's a little too far to the right. Oh, look at him. Come on right in front of your face. All right. That's it. Look at all this. Look at all this. Oh, and he throwed it. I need. I was concerned they might bite short. They're way across here, so we might still get another chance. I'm seeing one way over there. There's one right. Look at that. Big old monster. Look at that. Yeah, there. There's still some here. Oh, there. Alright, there he goes. Look at that. That's what I left out here, fellas. Oh, man. <laughs> awesome. Oh, thank you guys for coming out. I don't know anything about this little hole. I don't know if it stays the same depth. All I know is right now there's a ton of reds. And he's taking me back that way. And I'm hoping I can get our fish before we spook everything up. He's a monster too. He wasn't worried about it. He said, I don't care if you're there or not. I'm so big, I, I don't care. Look at that. I don't think they, that one's not spooking because of me. He's busting bait still. Now that one, <laughs> that was, that was a spook. That rascal's probably too big to take. I don't know. I could take him. Maybe. Look at all these guys. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just letting him play down, fellas, because I don't want him that green on this board. I say that all the time, but he didn't run. You know that fish are capable of more than that. I know he's capable of more of that. He even knows he's capable of more than that. All right, fella, you need to settle on down. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah, I, I see them everywhere. I see them everywhere. I'm, my fear is they're going to get all spooked up and I won't get my limit even. But that's okay. I see fish coming up here. But I wanted to get up here because of you guys. I said, well, I left y'all last time on the cliffhanger. Would they be here the next day? Oh, well, they're... Wow, it's all the way to the other side. I can see clear to the other bank, which is about 150 yards, maybe even 200 yards. And they're 
backside of the water. So that's awesome. My first time ever seeing them like this. This is the first. Oh, wow. I did that. I did that. I, I, I wasn't lifting up on him. It's okay. He was too big. We all know he's too big. Oh, then I did that. It, what happens is when you hook hard, it digs in, it digs into your, digs into your line. Well, let's just see if we can hook another one. There's one right in front of us. They're everywhere. Look at that one. He ain't buying it. He ain't buying it. Oh, that was probably one I turned loose. Look at this one laying here. They ain't gonna buy it either. He knows something's up. Oh, I just made a terrible mistake. I didn't have it all the way in, so. Look at this guy. Huh. I need a dip net. And this guy. That guy. No, he ain't buying it. He ain't buying it. All that we didn't even get a fish but look at that over there they they finally got wind of me or something stop it maybe that maybe not maybe they're just doing their own thing but I never fellas y'all are experiencing something with me that I've never seen look at that I just don't know any of them are going to be dumb enough to bite now no those are those are all look at that they all spook but surely let me just throw it way over there and just drag it there's there's hundreds of them thousands maybe look at that big rascal there but they are probably spooked There looks like he's hungry. Come here, fella. No, maybe not. I mean, anywhere you want to pitch you, there's a red. Look at that one. Plum out of the water. He, he sucked it in. That's more of a reasonable, but it's just amazing, fellas. Look at that. They're just plowing. I've seen this in my life in with catfish. The only time I've ever seen catfish like that was in Green Lake when we were commercial fishing. And we were wrapped around them with a, a giant net. We seen that lake for about 20 years and it was the the seine was 1500 feet long sometime we'd wrap around big school of catfish and that's what it would look like it just a wall of catfish but this is the next best thing <laughs> a whole lot easier <laughs> that was a lot of work back then thousands of pounds of fish oh Look at it. Oh my, 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 Miss American Pie. Come here, fella. Don't you get off, make me look like a fool. I know, I know this is so much fun to me, but I, I gotta, I gotta get you in. We gotta, oh, <laughs> look at that fella. And they nice ones too. 
these rascals are most of them I'm seeing are around 25 26 come over here this time I'm gonna try not to give him too much slack I did that last time but I, and he might get off too because he ain't hooked through and through and he's wild not not broke down fella get up here People say that there's a shortage of charged redfish, and I'm saying, uh-uh. No, you just ain't found them. They're around. You just got to find them. That rascal is 25 inches. Well, all right. That segment was a little long, so I'm going to quit, and I'm going to make sure I don't have a lot of stuff on the lens, and I'll bring you right back. Is long. I kind of really didn't want him that because he's the biggest one. Oh, he well, it didn't matter. He barely had it suck the tail. But he was well over 30. Well over 30. I was trying to pick out one that was a little bit within range. But they're spooked up, so every one don't bite. You just got to get it just right for one to take it. I'm in there. There's so many. So many. to get on the bite and I like that it's so hard to get on the bite I'm gonna try to work past some of these spooked ones oh fellas stop it stop it I see you I see you look at that wad There must be hundreds of them. One of them bound to want it. Yep. Man, look at that. Oh, that right there is worth the price of admission right there, even if we don't catch any more. Look at that. Fellas, i never seen it. Never, never. Oh. Someone actually nibbled at it through all this excitement. I don't know what to do about them. You know when you got mullet busting in front of you and spooking fish in front of you? I've got redfish spooking in front of me, spooking redfish. Look over there, as far as I can see, there's reds. And that's they're busting on bait over there. They still ain't got the... But these here close, no. These guys know. They know. Y'all know, don't you? Don't y'all all know? They seem to all know. I'm gonna cast super far over there in them. Maybe. Oh, they're lifting the boat up. They're lifting the boat up. Oh my. 
all right something out of a million fish something nailed it oh fellas i know this video is going to be longer than normal but guys this is a once in a lifetime i don't say once in a lifetime it might happen more than that but it hasn't happened before then <laughs> for me <laughs> but uh i haven't been kayaking very long but uh i'm gonna put it like that once in a lifetime because i ain't never i heard stories them old timers like me back when i was young they used to be able to net these guys and they would this would be perfect they'd surround this big school and get thousands of pounds of reds of course they probably needed deeper water back then it would have been hard to maneuver a even a, a, a skiff around in this kind of water but that's okay it's gonna be deeper in about two hours the tide is coming in just pouring in that's why these guys these guys know it's got plenty of water and so they're not worried they're not worried about not having enough water they're gonna have water in another two hours all right settle down guy he's about 21 inches you turn the tail all right fellas i'm gonna cut you off and check the lens and then we're gonna try to get number three some kind of way oh, thousands thousands probably several thousand reds right here all right bring you back in a second guys look at here look at that one <laughs> this might be number three i don't know he's he's not very big but after catching a couple of them monsters look at all that i don't know guys i don't know we they spooked up pretty pretty good uh from that last cut i piddled around out here look at them though they're just solid everywhere i look still I think it's time for me to get out of here. If this guy will make it, I think we're going to call it. I know that it's not a lot of fish caught, but but guys, I I have a feeling they're going to leave here for a little while. They'll come back eventually, but I don't expect to be able to come back tomorrow and be have anything in here. Honestly, I think they'll they'll all be they'll be over to the next. He's 20, but he ain't. I can't take him. He's on on the line, but I don't know whether we'll harass him very much longer or not. I don't want him to get too too spooked up in here. Boy, that bait is getting so raggedy. I think I need to change it. But yeah, it's it's amazing, fellas. It's amazing. It's. It's awesome. <laughs> no doubt about it. I looked at that raggedy bait whenever I first got here and I said, well, I think I already changed it. I said, well, let me just see if I can make it a day with it. But it's looking like we can't. So I'm going to, well, I guess we did. We might end the day today right now. I don't know. There's plenty of fish to be caught. Hate to not go home or without a, a limit but i've been catching good fish y'all seen the last video i had my limit so person asked me did i hook them how to hook them I hook them the same way the tail goes so and no it's a long time after this before this video hits the hits the air but still in case someone else needed to know i answered him best i could all right guys All right, fellas, I think we might have latched on to number number three. I just paddled towards the mouth of this thing. It's just got a little too crazy out there for me. <laughs> it's it's amazing, fellas. And uh, they were all herded herding out here to this uh, the way out. 
I thought, well, I'll throw amongst this school of thousands and see if I can't get one of them that's kind of got a bigger stomach than he's got fear of whatever's out here. And this, this fella here might just be the one. Whether we get him or not, I don't know. But <laughs> Oh, guys, I do appreciate y'all coming out and enjoying this this adventure with me. It's once in a lifetime thing. Well, I said it before. It's like, we don't know. It's, it's the first time in a lifetime I can say that. We don't know if it'll happen again. I know that, that once you learn what fish do and how they do it, you know, you you learn. I never would have dreamed. It's been getting over 100 degrees every day. And this water is, I mean, you see, I'm dragging this, this board around a lot of places. That's two or three inches of water. And these guys didn't care. But the tide is rolling in real hard. And so as long as they know they're not going to get stuck up here, and the low tide hit in the middle of the night when the water had already cooled down, they weren't, they weren't hurting for nothing. So, he probably got water all over the lens, fellas. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that was, that was a key to know the, know the tide. I intentionally stayed in early, or, or, or didn't get out here early today because I knew that the tide would have been too low for me to even get around up here until later. So I waited. I didn't leave my house till eight o'clock. That's rare. I'm normally almost through fishing by eight o'clock. So yeah, he's 26. But as you guys know, see, there's no shortage of reds. And again, I think we probably got a lot of water over it. My glasses are covered with water. But all right, so we'll go ahead and end it. I want to say uh, thanks again for showing up. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you hadn't subscribed. It always helps with this channel out when that happens. And um, yeah, God bless. We'll see you next time. <laughs> what do we hook on to in this water? Oh, well, can we say bonus? I just, for fun, I throwed it down in the middle of this deep ditch where they all was herding. I thought there might be something laying down there that, uh, that might still be crazy enough to, to bite. And they did. He did. <laughs> so, guys, uh, we might put it in as a bonus. So if you see it, it's a bonus. <laughs> oh, he's a monster again. Oh yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to show my willpower to get out of here because it's just a skinny ditch that I think got all that thousands of redfish and they all piled into that ditch. And I probably could do this down this whole ditch. Oh, but we're not going to. That's it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> Settle down, fella. He's a good one, too. He's a nice one. Oh, well, you a lucky fella. You ain't one of the first three. Oh, yeah. Spots all over him, too. That's a kind of a unique looking markings he has. Not big spots, little tiny ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I tell you what. I'm running out of energy, fellas. I didn't, I skipped breakfast. I got up and I said, you know, I'm not even going to eat no breakfast. <laughs> got enough reserve. I don't need that much strength to, to wrestle these fish today. Well, maybe I needed to head me an energy bar with all this work I was going to put out today. Look at this. Look at it. He's 25 and a half if we bend her tail. Get on one out of here. See you later. All right, guys. Again, God bless, and we'll see y'all next time.